been great. Lovely. Fabulous. Give thanks. What's been going on? By the way, I love the new song with Popcorn. Mm -hmm. By the way. Thank you. I, I know you would love it. Yeah, for sure. Is on it. Unruly. Mm -hmm. I'm unruly. So I love that <laughs> song, for sure. But outside of that, what's been going on with you? Um, we haven't spoken to you in a little while, so... I've been working really hard. I mean, you just talk about a popcorn song that was produced by me. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, you know, that actually show um, the fact that I am really working. And when you say it's produced by you, how involved are you in the production aspect of the production it's part of your life? One hundred and uh, this song or the production? Just part production of, overall. Yeah, well, I've been doing productions. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been working with Alex A. Game mm -hmm. and and. Um, Rappers element so you are Spanish recording thing. people, you are mixing stuff, you bugle or you have no, somebody that do it? I don't do the manual okay. part of the right. engineering, no. But you're there through but, the process? Yeah, so okay. through all the recording and everything, my brother. Okay, so the new song with Popcorn is one of the new stuff you have out now? It's one of the, the latest things that I put out. That's the latest. Yeah. And the, um, what else is out for you solo? Well, um, I have the Boombox song, which is an international remix with um, a girl by the name of Kara, um, Henry Fang, that are the same version that they did a remix with the man, with the, the Ganja song of Margo with me and Shaggy. Um, he contacted me and said, I have a song where I'm really a film upon, and he sent it to me, I do it, I sent it back to him, and then crazy over it, mm -hmm. and put it out, and it did very, 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 very well. Mm -hmm. um, that is another collaborated effort that is working very well for me. I actually just did a song with Ducky Sims, Naf Black Uru which is doing extremely great like in in like Australia and places like like those so you know what a power work are going like what a power work really are going of course you know the the, the cherished life song extremely great same way mm -hmm. so with all of these things that you have out now um promotion wise being on stage I mean um how much traveling are you doing how many shows are how many shows are you doing what's going on with that well, I've been on the road for so long, I just decided to say, I'm to take, like, you know, a little time off of the road and focus on some local thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm one of the artists, so I really love the studio, I love to work, and my heart is up on the road the same way too. Yeah, so, um, of course, I take a minute off of the road because I'm up on the road for like three months straight. So I have to take a break and just focus and make sure I'm getting some work done, knowing some of the new artists I work with and all of that. I have that for focus fun to some it's not just about you good anymore. So I I presume Alex is one of those artists. Yeah man, definitely. Alex A um, one of them artists there. And who else? New artists wise that you're Rackers Rackers Element. That's uh that's a group of three Rastafarian bridging from Spanish town. So those are your artists? Yeah, that I am. So, um, seeing that you're expanding your brand, because mm -hmm. now you have gotten into production, you're not just an artist anymore, mm -hmm. and um, now you have artists that you're working with, is it like they're going to be signed to Bugle? Of or course. Or they not. are already? Yeah, no, not yet. Okay. That, that's another process. Mm -hmm. you know? And the, the thing about it, where, where me and signing is concerned, you can't just have a man a sign son. You, you don't even know where I'm a sign for, or where I'm a sign about, you understand? So I make sure I say something up and running and, and uh, you can see, you know, what happened before him even think about for the sign something because of the fact that even me one of the time we did end up a sign something and really and truly. It never did make no sense. You understand what I say? And me wouldn't want to put no you through what anybody at all put me through. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Um so seeing that you're working from this side of the world now, the music world. Are you more appreciative of anything? Are you seeing the music differently now that you're into the production, into working with artists? How, how does the music look like now? Or how does it look to you now? The truth is, you know, the views that I have on music now is something we've been on for years, and that's why I'm even getting involved in a production. And, and, and one of the things we do before me even think about to produce one song is have my own studio, which of course is a personal studio. But we make sure I have my own recording facility where I have more time to spend not only on my career, but for anybody who decides to I'm going to get a strength in any way at all where music is concerned. You understand? So I always have the vision. I always see life from that perspective yeah, where music is concerned. So I decided to say, yeah, I have my studio now where I can actually produce two youth and give two youth a strength. Because I know the importance of that when me did a try and me never have a studio. 
you understand me? I said, I never have access to a studio full time. You know how Acklin that was. So, no one said you can give you the opportunity to just come and, and do some work and feel comfortable. You know what that means to, to what that's supposed to mean to any youth. You understand me? I said, so it's just a vision that I always have, and the vision is to help as much people as we can help. Mm -hmm. It's not just to do production, but to help some youth because music are just one of the biggest saviors where mm -hmm. Jamaica is concerned and, and poor people, ghetto people. So I'm going to just try and help as much, but I can't take on more than two of them. I know so some youth are going to hear that interview and say, yeah, I'll link you right you know. away. Yeah, but I can't take on more than, you understand what I say? Because you have to actually try your best to be as focused as you can. You understand? So I try my endeavor best to focus on whoever, you know, they're around the anointed vibe right now and then when them youth they get out there then we can focus on the next youth or the next two youth. So the name of the label is Anointed Entertainment. Okay, so if they are to be signed they're gonna be signed to Anointed, Anointed Entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Let's talk a little bit more about the popcorn collab now for those who don't know what's the name of the collab? Um Live Love Laugh. Actually record that sound like I two have that years tattooed ago. right here. Yeah. That's but cool. And you're not even know the name of the song. I right? didn't so I gotta love it more now. For sure, it's a part <laughs> of me. So even more now. That's really cool. I re like no joke. I have that tattooed right. Yes. That's cool. How did that collab come about? Um. Well, my my, my record is sung by myself like two years ago, mm -hmm. and and I have the song in the studio and I listen to it over and over. Like I really love the song, and of course popcorn I like my brother, yeah, well, like my brother mm -hmm. in my real life. And I listen to the song over and over and one morning we got another studio early and I listen to the song again and I said, Wow, you know, it's a popcorn with a wicked on the song. Yeah. And it's so happened popcorn come check me the same morning. And I play the song for him and say, I'm just a vibe of song where, you know, my feel upon it and I listen to it and I say, Bobo, this is bad, I want, I want up on this. Send it in my email. And I send it to him and then I go link him like a few days after and, and as soon as I go link him and record it at his studio. Because you know, Papi have a personal studio and house too. So, you know, we record it at his studio and we get it. And within within about four or five days, I that the song mix and we put it up. Cool. So it kind of just it work. It, it, the, the fact that I'm just turn up the morning yeah. while you're listening to it, it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen. Yeah. And then as soon as me go check him, him just record. Yeah, it was supposed so, to happen. So, yeah, for and real, you've so. had it for two, years, for two years. And everything happened within a week. Within a week. So, yeah. When yeah. things work like that, it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. Now, you had already put out a dance hall project, which mm -hmm. did very well. It did um, well. Are you putting out any more rhythms soon? Um, well, the thing about it, you know, is, as I say, it, where the production part of me is concerned, mm -hmm. it not, it's not about, you know, doing production like a produce juggling and that go link the artist of record or so on and so forth. The truth is, I have enough brother in the music. We right. can talk about people like Assassin and Busy Signal, Tara Shale, Bounty Killer, Sizzler Kalanji, Popcorn, to name a few. Uh, them you that like my brother, them and me and them extremely close. Mm -hmm. So if me end up for have a rhythm, what well, well, I feel any one of them, and then we link them and say, here what? I go put out a song, and I rhythm with myself, but I feel it on it. So if I feel a strength on it, I can put out two songs, or I can put out three. Or if the whole of my friend them hear it and like it and want to sing on it, then we we'll just So it might be a jungle, it might be a single, it might be... That's how even the whole kick-off thing mm -hmm. forward. I never plan for put out so much song on a rhythm, but the whole of my brother them forward and hear it. Taros hear it and say, Bobo, you can't put out this without me. <laughs> busy come link me and busy for three songs. Popcorn forward and popcorn say, I'm not all of them sing. Sizzla the same thing. When Sizzla forward, Sizzla sing three song. You understand me? I say just the, 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 the relationship where you have and the respect, you know, where you have for them people and you get it back in return. Mm -hmm. Where you will end up and do something like that. But really and truly, I'm, I'm not trying to take on production on that level. Mm -hmm. Just really my friend them and the youth them when I try for help. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Cool. But me being a producer, my vocal throughout the years, because most of the artists, most of the producers were me vice versa throughout the years. They used to just send me the rhythm. And, and when we send them back the song, all they need to do is just mix it. It have harmony and everything. So me being a produce my vocals throughout the years between me and Dasyaka because Dasyaka used to take the whole of my voice. So between me and David and Corey, we used to me we used to produce my vocals. So me have a great understanding what to do before mm -hmm. me even you know that I'm gonna do it. Do you think you're underrated? 
do I think I'm underrated? Mm -hmm. That question come at me so much time. Um, a lot of people think so. 90% of Jamaican people think what that I'm underrated. What do you think? But I don't think so. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why I can say that I don't think so is because I have a great fan base. And, and this, is how, this is how music works in Jamaica. When, 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 when I do the type of music when me I do, it's like it reach people. It, people see it and hear it from early out, but them have to listen to it a thousand times before it really processes into their brain. Meanwhile, if you just uh, tell somebody, you know, a little ABC kind of thing, it just processes instantly, so it reaches them. So it, it might look like, say, people not really respect your music, but them respect that person they own. It's just that what a person that ABC there, it easy have a process. When me I say people are gonna take a while to process it, you understand? I may have a good fan base. If you put Bugle in, a, in concert now, my show is sold out, same like how any other artist show is sold out. So you did something at hundred dollar day, a performance at hundred dollar day. Yeah. How was that? And it was sold out. Mm -hmm. And and so that just goes to show, say, you know, Bugle is is, is a rated artist. Yeah, so if me if you look on it like okay then I'm I'm underrated. That means I respect the people that more rate me mm -hmm. and, and respect my music. The thing about my fan base is a genuine fan base who have followed with me from two thousand seven. And even the one the new ones them were added to added to it now, them added to it because of the love of bugle music throughout the years. So my music can I gotta live with people for the next hundred years. So the thing about it again is when the, the, the type of people who follow my music is the type of people who who really deep into music. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's not just okay. Me like music, Bugle and me like John Tam and me like John Brown, but if tomorrow Bugle now sing a song, when I visit about him again a John Brown may I deal it. Mm -hmm. Fan base may have another fan base there. There's just some people who are say it, it, it's like politics, diarty. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So my fan base is like fun. a diarty yeah. fan where just no say Bugle, regardless of what, he may have some song where just I live with me for the past 10 years and, and every song where I put out, you know, I can feel it in my heart. So I'm going to always be a fan of Bugle. So I just say, but everybody now got to have the same amount of fun. People are going to have bigger fan base regardless of the type of music where you are. Mm -hmm. So I, I am rated, I know that. We know that. Roy is rated. Roy have a bag of fans for you for a long time. <laughs> Um, your last album came out when? Um, this year, January of this year. January of this year. So yeah. no more compilation anytime soon. Um, more and get it some space. Okay. And, and but I know you're working on stuff. Can you get one studio? So we know you have things on put on. We well, say, all right, that's a fee. Yeah, man. And I, next I time. A million things put on. Mm -hmm. Like I can put out three albums. Right tomorrow, now. Tomorrow yeah. morning, we mm -hmm. can say, oh, okay, I have three album one time. Because when you look back in, a, in, a, in, a, in even in a, my catalog of music, some of my biggest songs them don't have an album up to now. I talk about like the exercise, the journey, the what have I done to you, the pearly gate, the blame life. None of them songs them still not up on the album. They you should put me. out a bugle's greatest hits. The, but the greatest of bugle is yet to come, so I can't do that. You don't greatest see. hits so far. It was so far, <laughs> yeah. it work, but I can't just say, okay, the greatest of you, the mm. greatest not come yet. Mm. And that's why I wouldn't put out that album that says the greatest of you. Okay, we can call that, it something like, else. If I do that, I feel like I'll stop my career right away. No, more. we'll call it something else, but all of those songs that yeah. were very big, yeah. that didn't get the chance to be on an album, Name put them together. together. Name is it come exactly. So, it can so you're giving this album space. Mm -hmm. Um to go and do your thing out in the world. Yeah, the Christmas season is approaching, so I'm yeah. figuring you're gonna be all over. Yeah. Where are I you mean, going? I mean, I mean, we have all the person, mm -hmm. like, one of them left on the album. Mm -hmm. We are going extremely good. Me are talking about like the same song that we were just talking about, mm -hmm. like the cherished life and the hustle and the street smart and all them songs that we are going really good on the road. And, and them, even them song that help the album because you have people who would just buy the album because them hear a cherished life and, and not knowing that cherished life not even up on the album mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's how music go because it, it's, like, it's like a magnet song is like a magnet you have one song and it jar next one it jar album so I always a work regardless yeah, and of course, I always a dip on the road, I do my thing, mm -hmm. you know. I always a cover the world like Google, you know, <laughs> all of the places and things. So, we just are going to do the thing. Um, what else is going on that we need to talk about or mention or promote before we go, Mr. Small? 
Did you cover everything? Yes, sir. Why are you not talking? Why are you shouting so quiet all the time? You <laughs> face. Roy Thompson, thank you so much for being here. See you on the 28th, 27th of October. That's a school tour day. Okay. Yeah. Um, you need to follow the Iowan show tonight, sir. Tonight, why people always ask me to do these things like the day before or the day of? Only thing I sit down and do I have nothing to do. I even am a brother.